One of the early tasks in the spring for our farm team is we go into the seed house and we open up every variety or every lot of corn. We take out a two pound sample and we send it to the seed lab. We're just strictly looking to say, what do we own at this stage? Realizing as a professional farmer, we're responsible for the corn stands we get. We're really excited about the genetics we purchased and the maturity of the corn that we match to each specific field. But at the same time, we need to understand if we plant this corn into a cold seed environment, how's it gonna perform? So for our team, it's as simple as just pulling a two pound sample and filling out some simple information, variety, lot number, seed treatment, seed shape, and then we're gonna check saturated cold test, accelerated aging, in other words, how old is this seed? Has it been held over a year in a warehouse? And a pericarp damage. That'll come back as low, moderate, or severe, and they'll give you a percentage. In this case, this particular genetic is a medium flat. I look for a really good pericarp score. I've seen as much as 32% seed cracks in the coating. I'm using starter on the seed through my Keaton Seed Firmer. That would be a real concern. In that case, we would just shut the starter off for that 60 acres and then wrap back on when we go into the next variety. When we get our test results back and we see a saturated cold germ in the mid 80s or even 79%, it's not about me picking up the cell phone and calling my seed supplier and complaining. It's about Greg understanding how to position that corn for success. If this seems just like a little too much hassle, a little too much work to go to the seed lab with two pounds of seed, then I would recommend you do the simple thing. Grab at least a pound and a tag into a Ziploc baggie. This goes into the freezer inside the house. And after our stands are up and we're well into the end of June, go ahead and pitch this corn out. But we need some kind of a history or track record of everything we planted. If there's a problem, this is the only insurance you got. For me, information drives good decisions and good decisions drive really high yields. So for those three tests, we're gonna spend $64. When I look at it at the end of the day for my 10 varieties, 10 to 11 varieties, we're talking 20 cents an acre to empower ourselves to have some really great corn stands.